Hello, Eric Hernais for SkySwitch. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use the click to call widget for WordPress. The use case that this is meant to cover works as follows. A user browses to a website and clicks a click to call button within the website. Part of that click to call button includes a field where the user can input his telephone number. Once the button is clicked, WordPress contacts a NetSapiens PBX and tells the PBX to call a registered extension. Presumably, the registered extension will belong to the business that owns the website. It could be a customer support line or anybody's extension at that business. Once the user of the registered extension picks up the phone and says hello, the PBX will then call the web browser's telephone number at the telephone number that was entered in the web page. That completes the call. So we're starting out at a WordPress website and the first thing we're going to do is install the plugin. Here we are at the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to the plugins page where I'm going to add a new plugin. Uh, I'm going to upload the plugin by choosing the file. The name of the file is skyswitchwpc2c.zip. I'm selecting that and clicking install now. Okay, this says that the plugin was installed correctly. I'm going to activate it. Now that the plugin has been activated, we see that it's here in the list of active plugins. Next thing I need to do is to add the widget to a specific web page. So I'm browsing to the widgets page of WordPress, which is under the appearance menu. And I'm going to add the SkySwitch widget to the WordPress sidebar. Once it's installed, there will be a form that requires several parameters. The parameters are the title of the widget, the OAuth client ID for the PBX, the OAuth secret for the PBX, the API target URL of the PBX, and then a username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter those values now. The title of the plugin can be anything. The OAuth client ID and secret will come from your service provider, as will the target URL. Lastly, you'll enter the portal username and password for the user whose extension you want to ring when somebody hits the click to call button. I'm going to use my own extension, which is 1002 at SkySwitch. Once all of the parameters are entered into the web form, we can come down here and click Save. And if the widget successfully connected to the API, you'll see a notice at the top saying API connected successfully. Now that that's done, we should be able to browse to any page on the website that has the sidebar and find the click to call widget. The look and feel of the click to call widget can be controlled. The widget parameters include HTML code that you can customize as you wish. I'm going to enter my own phone number here and press call. And now my phone's ringing. Once I pick up my phone, Your call is now being forwarded. it's going to call the number that was entered in the click to call box. That's really all there is to configuring the WordPress click to call widget from SkySwitch. Thank you for your time.